In this presentation, you will learn the law of reflection and how to measure angles of refraction. Before you learn about how to measure angles of refraction, let's quickly review how we draw reflecting rays. The picture on the left shows a light ray hitting a reflective surface. The law of reflection states that the angle that the light ray hits a surface is equal to the angle that the light ray reflects off that surface. In order to draw the reflecting ray, we must first measure the incoming angle, also known as the angle of incidence. All angles in reflection problems are measured from a line called the normal. The normal is a dotted line drawn perpendicular to the reflective surface. After you draw the normal, you need to extend the ray given with your pencil to make it easier to measure the incoming angle. When measuring angles of incidence, reflection, or refraction, ignore the angles on your protractor that are greater than 90 degrees. Also, remember to put the zero degree line on your protractor on the normal line. When we measure the angle of incidence, we place the protractor's zero line on the normal, place the middle of the protractor where the ray hits the surface, and point the curve toward the ray. The first angle, or the angle of incidence, is 21 degrees. Since the angle of incidence is 21 degrees, the angle of reflection is 21 degrees. To draw the reflected angle, we point the curve of the protractor to the right, the zero line on the normal, and the center of the protractor at the, on the intersection point. When you draw your reflection angles correctly, they form the letter V. Once again, we extend the length of the ray and draw a dotted line perpendicular to the reflecting surface. Point the curve of the protractor toward the ray, the zero line on the normal line, and the center of the protractor where the ray hits the reflecting surface. In order to draw the reflected ray, we flip the protractor to the other side. The angle of incidence equals the angle of reflection. Now we are going to talk about measuring refraction angles. The picture on the left shows a light ray bending as it crosses over to another medium. In order to measure the angles of incidence and refraction, we need to lengthen each of the rays with a pencil and draw in a dotted line perpendicular to the boundary between medium 1 and medium 2. Once again, to measure the angle of incidence, we point the curve of the protractor toward the ray, the zero line on the normal, and the center of the protractor where the ray hits the reflected surface. To measure the angle of refraction, we point the curve of the protractor to the right, the zero line on the normal, and the center of the protractor where the ray hits the reflecting surface. Whenever there is refraction at a boundary, there's always reflection. The reflection always occurs inside the first medium. Here's another refraction problem. Once again, we extend the length of the ray and draw a dotted line perpendicular to the surface where medium 1 meets medium 2. The angle the first ray makes with the normal is called the angle of incidence. To measure the angle of incidence, we point the curve of the protractor toward the ray, the zero line on the normal, and the center of the protractor where the ray hits the border that separates medium 1 from medium 2. Now we measure the angle of refraction. We point the curve of the protractor toward the ray, the zero line on the normal, and the center of the protractor where the ray hits the boundary between medium 1 and medium 2. Once again, whenever there is refraction, there is always reflection. The reflection always occurs inside the first medium. This is the end of my presentation on measuring and drawing reflection and refraction rays.